in 1929, JDR III took a very important trip. He traveled to Asia for the very first time. He was 23 years old and a recent graduate of Princeton University. On this trip, he made three very important discoveries during the several weeks that he spent traveling around. He discovered that he had a love for Asian arts and culture. He discovered that he had a love for the Asian people themselves. And he discovered that by immersive travel, travel where you visit a country outside of your own and you're immersed in the culture, you can have profound self-discovery. So he took those things from that trip, returned to the United States, and as we all know, became a leader in philanthropy. He established the Japan Society in 1952. He established the Asia Society in 1956, and the Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts in 1962. But it wasn't until 1963 when he took those three discoveries and combined them in a very important program, the Asian Cultural Program of the JDR Third Fund. A lot of people in the philanthropy circle now say, you know, can you show me the impact of my investment or the philanthropic dollar? And when it comes to the arts, it's, it always poses a question. I mean, how do you capture art in data, except for people in seats? How do you quantify that? How do you qualify that? Because it's an intangible gift to the human race. Um, it is the expression of the human spirit. How do you capture that? I think one of the, and, and, and a lot of times when I talk to people, I say you don't see the return on your investment until many years later. Well, here we are, 55 years later, with what Miho has just told us, and in Hong Kong, 30 years. 30 years ahead of the game for Hong Kong. We're building a lot of infrastructure, and there's a scramble for what people say software, and that is the people. And that is something the Asian Cultural Council and all the friends that have supported us to get us here for 30 years in Hong Kong have achieved. If you look at everything that you see in this room, it's been touched by our grantee. If you look around the arts institutions, the organizations, the museums coming up, the performing arts um, buildings, you'll find one of our grantees installed in <laughs> In, in, in those places. First of all, I'd like to thank our gala sponsor, Alice in Fine Arts, without whose support this event would not be possible. And I would also like to thank our table pa patrons, Yama Chan, Cherry Ch Chu, Janet Nathanall, ben Bill Flans, Nellie and Kenneth Flan, Kenneth Fung, um, Jean Ho, Alice Hung, Desiree and Hans Michael Jepson, Cheryl Lee, Fiona Couture -Mar -Mar Marin, Marissa Feng Shaw, Anne and John Witt, and John Yang. Together with the ACC New York, ACC Patron Circle Hong Kong, Alice in Fine Arts, East West Bank, Goldman Sachs Asia, K11 Art Foundation, and UOB. Also, I'd like to dearly thank our fundraising committee who is comprising of Yama Chan, Cherry Chu, Angelina Lee, Cheryl Lee, Fiona Couture Marin, Janet Nathanol, Lily Ann Riddick, Marissa Feng Shaw, and Ann Witt. We've all worked tirelessly, tirelessly this past year to make our event the success tonight. And of course, our ACC Hong Kong office, chaired by Josephine and uh, Kathy and Suki and Jocelyn. During this evening's gala dinner, we would like to share with you a very special artistic experience, um, as you had seen already, um, and there's more to come. These experiences were created ex especially uh, by the ACC alumni for this evening's event. And um, the participants include Kingsley Ng, Stephanie Chung, Alan Lam, Carol Lin, Yeung Yan, and Steve Hui. Together, they form the artistic team who have created this magical evening, and we hope you'll enjoy the experience. We are also grateful for the many alumni who have contributed their artwork and time and expertise to the charity auction. 
which will be taking place soon. I would also like to echo my thanks to the fundraising committee and the ACC staff for their dedication, support, and contribution, as well as to our MCs, Peter Zhang and um, Karen, Karen Pang, um, and also to Elaine Kwok, who is going to be our auctioneer. Uh, without them, this evening would not have been possible. Les anneaux de crivé de joie relèvent sur les poupées strées, d'orange, de rouge, se plie, les étouffes flottées d'eau vaut. La danse aux chances mariées, la danse aux chances mariées, d'abord un décès et des mines, puis vive au suite et plus rapide, selon mon I have the incredible honor to celebrate a very special individual, Hans Michael Jepsen. Michael has been a champion and leader at ACC for decades. He and Desiree became members of the Hong Kong Friends uh, Committee of ACC 30 years ago. Desiree became its vice chairman, and Michael followed becoming its chairman. And when the ACC Hong Kong Foundation was established in 2015, he stepped forward to be its leader. He has been on the global ACC board for 15 years, and he is also the vice chairman now for six years. So if I get hit by the tram tonight, ACC's in better hands. Uh, in spite of his overcrowded schedule, he squeezes in meetings in New York and around Asia, and his voice can be heard on committee meetings early in the morning and late at night dispensing uh, wise opinions and also the occasional funny quip. He has been an extremely generous patron in addition to supporting the Desiree and Hans Michael Jepsen Fellowship for 22 years, he and Desiree have sponsored numerous events and activities and even opened their home uh, for ACC events. And everybody who's seen their home knows that's a very special thing. Most recently, Michael has made a transformational donation of $20 million to endow the Hong Kong uh, ACC Foundation. He hopes, and so do I, that others will add to this endowment to extend ACC's mission and also to ensure the perpetuity of ACC here in Hong Kong, Macau, and China. I can't think of anyone worthier of receiving the Blanchette Hooker Rockefeller Award than Michael. In addition to demonstrating extreme devotion, generosity, and leadership to the mission of ACC, like my aunt, Lanchette, he also shares her sartorial uh, elegance and impeccable standards. So it is my great honor to give the third Lanchette Hooker Rockefeller Award to Hans Michael Jepsen. Well, thank you so much, um, Wendy. And of course, Wendy is everything the ACC is about because that is this Im amazing uh, long walk and short on talk in terms of building bridges. This is an organization that is inclusive. This is an organization that creates space for the human mind in so many ways. And this is an organization of goodwill. And I think 
everybody who's been near the ACC has always felt that good, strong, positive energy in the room, like tonight. I don't think we've ever been more individuals um, celebrating, uh, you know, just that spirit as today. I mean, 30 years um, is something, but it's not very much, in fact, in the eye of um, history, particularly not Chinese history, but it's not figures. It's not the quantitative sort of thing. It's the quality that counts. And we at the ACC um, are learning, are learning about the reality. I would like to say this, you know, I think it was Nelly Fong who first came with that uh, remark once she said, when you drink water, uh, think of the source. And this is very important uh, for me tonight to say that uh, the ACC is this amazing team effort. And teams usually means one person at a time having a hard time getting things organized. And, uh, you know, this, um, our two wonderful uh, leaders who made this possible here tonight, um, uh, Daphne and Tasha, really deserve all the thanks and all the honor for tonight with their wonderful team. I think everybody who has organized something knows, you know, how taxing that is. I mean, it's always like the wedding of Canaan and to fill all the tables and, to, and so on and so forth. So when it's there, there's this big sigh of relief, particularly when everything is sold as well. Um, but we have some very exciting stuff. Some of the things I was very uh, privileged to have seen myself, like the Kaikut uh, Rockefeller Home, which is now a center for the arts and so on. But you'll find out uh, for yourself. I mean, the amazing thing is that in the middle of the Cold War, um, at the beginning of the 1960s, um, Wendy's grand uncle, John D. Rockefeller um, the third, who has been the founding father to so many important things. I mean, Asia Society is one, uh, the Japan uh, Society was another, and of course the ACC is the smallest, but uh, certainly the most vibrant and the most diverse. Because in essence, you know, what do we believe in? We believe that diversity is strength. We believe that building bridges is better than burning bridges. And we believe in values that are shared universally. And when you see our uh, family of alumni and those individuals who had such a hard time to get out of their seats because they want to be part of the mainstream, um, these alumni are really our bedrock. And um, they make the intangible tangible. And I haven't yet met any of the alumni who had a huge profoundness. And this sharing of um, profound values is, I think, what is the most giving part um, of the ACC. Now, um, I would like to mention that, uh, you know, first, the uh, efforts to make an organization run like that. It's always on, on few shoulders, but it also takes funds, obviously. Um, I used to serve at the WWF uh, fundraising for quite some time. Our boss was the Duke of Edinburgh, and he used to say, without money, um, conservation is only conversation. And that goes very much for everything <clears throat> that we do to um, give a life transforming experiences to our alumni. Now, tonight, I would like to um, very much thank, and you know, don't be afraid, this is not a mutual appreciation exercise, but <clears throat> Wendy, our chair coming from New York, I mean, you, um, your day has more than 24 hours. I just saw you in Tokyo, you came to our meeting here, and now tonight, um, I mean, Wendy, thank you so much for being such an inspirational leader and so committed in your family tradition of uh, Rockefeller uh, impact um, in this part of the world, which, is, which started in 1913. So, so much for a role model. Thank you, Wendy, uh, for all of your... <clears throat> We also have the pleasure tonight of having with us um, trustees from the New York board, Bill and Miriam Spears, John and Ann Witt, 
Ru Bishang and Tony Salzmann. Thank you very much for your wise counsel. Now talking about boards, they say there's three W's you have to tick. Wisdom, work and wealth. And you have to tick two of them. Otherwise, you know, that's not a great way to be on boards. And um, I was told when I got into the ACC in New York, you know, there's the three G's. Get in, give, get out. Now, I, I, only, <laughs> I only got the two G's so far. But uh, anyway, uh, I think this is a good thing to remember sometimes. Um, but being more inclusive, um, who really makes things work on a daily basis is Miho Welsh, who embodies everything the ACC is all about, bridging cultures. Miho, thanks for being who you are and what you're doing. You're amazing. And I wish I had your um, way to put things. Um, there's nothing to be added when you speak. And uh, this is some wonderful quality amongst the, all the others. Then we um, also welcome the ACC and ACC Philippines Foundation trustees from across the sea, Ernest Escalier and Mercedes Zobel. Thanks for being with us this evening. The ACC Hong Kong would not exist if it hadn't been for Kenneth Fung, our um, evening bar pianist entertainer. Uh, um, if you wondered who was, in fact, um, moving the, uh, tang the black and white bits on the piano, that was Kenneth. And I, I know he, he, he enjoys it a lot. And uh, we share the same taste of music. So Kenneth, thanks for being the bedrock of this organization. It is because of your friendship with David uh, Rockefeller Jr., whose voice you heard before, um, that we are here tonight. And uh, uh, the late J.S. Lee, in fact, was your uh, predecessor. And then you came, and then you twisted my arm. Uh, we also had um, the great pleasure of Im amazing input by um, Lady Ivy Wu, who unfortunately couldn't make it tonight, and then the untiring Marissa. Um, thank you so much for stepping into the Fung footsteps, a uh, big time, so to speak. I think this is wonderful to have inspirational individuals who really lead the way. Together with Jean Ho, untiringly doing whatever is the real work in membership, in fundraising, event planning. Uh, these are very important jobs. Now, standing on shoulders of giants or the water and the source, Michelle Fosper, who has been leading this organization in Hong Kong, has been um, the guiding star, certainly for many years of my uh, chairmanship. And uh, we're extremely happy to have you here tonight. You're now a book writer and uh, a part-time farmer, a very versatile. Michelle, you're also one of our first, not first, uh, grantees, in fact, uh, which makes you, in, in many ways, of course, the real um, DNA of um, this organization, the ACC. Sitting suitably next to our oldest grantee, Wu Shis Wong. Um, right. It's amazing how few people can have a, a big impact. Sometimes I think the smaller the organization, sometimes the bigger the individual impact. And that's certainly true for our team of the ACC here in Hong Kong, um, led by Josephine Wei, together with Kathy Yep, um, Suki Cheng, and Jocelyn uh, Wei. Please give them a big hand, four ladies that make it all happen um, for us in Hong Kong. And then, um, again, Daphne and Tasha, together with Marissa, Jeanette, Nathaniel, Angelina Lee, Yama Chan, Cherry Tang, Anne Witt, Cheryl Lee, and Fionn Couture Marin, and Lily and Roddick. Um, you got us all here in this wonderful location, the Merit Police Headquarter, um, the Cube, um, which um, really is the first of its kind. We used to be in very different locations. Thank you so much for energizing all your friends to be here tonight.
Now, the real reason um, of the ACC is, of course, our mission. And the mission is embodied by our alumni uh, being here tonight, Kingsley and Stephanie Chang, uh, who co co uh, coordinated and curated the entire program. Then we have Alan Lamb, the amazing dancer you saw beforehand, and of course this amazing voice, Carol Lynn, uh, that was quite a uh, sort of energizer. Young Young, uh, our poetry individual, Steve Ho, who is in charge of all the music, and of course, Kieran Pang, our very gracious MC. Thank you very much for putting in your lot uh, to make this all happen. Now let me let me come to a close and just say, you know, there's the old saying: um, the fire shines a lot brighter when everybody puts uh, their own log on top of it. And I think what we want to do is to put this wood to good use to build bridges of goodwill, to let the luminous journey, as the word is, um, continue, and indeed take a sort of uh, central stage in the public arena. Thank you very much for uh, contributing to making this luminous journey possible um, here tonight. Thank you, our alumni, for being the transformative experience for, for us. And thank you for sharing that sense of goodwill of the ACC. And thank you again, Wendy, for the amazing honor. And it puts another sp spring in my step to live up to the other two awardees of the prize. Thank you so much indeed. The Asian Cultural Council stays in touch with all of the grantees and in many cases continues to support in different ways. And so um, artists, it's not only in their early stages of their career that they need support because there are different stages for everyone. So I think the Impact Award is coming at a very meaningful time to support those artists who have, all, have entered the middle of their career and are in a position to help the next generation. So I'm, I'm very honored to be asked to be part of this program this evening. The awards that are being announced this evening are for two former grantees. Uh, one is from China, another from Hong Kong. And the first grantee, uh, the first awardee of the Impact Award, uh, I would like to announce is Tian Mansha. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But there has never been a award like this one, which was so, which was so unexpected and surprising. I've never received an award like this, which made me feel very excited, but also was very daunting and terrifying. I <sighs> know. I realize that there are many artists who are outstanding and really better than me, and I consider them to be my role models. And I know it's just because I'm lucky that I received this. I 
I'm so grateful to the Asian Cultural Council for giving me this honor at such a critical juncture in my career and life. The next recipient, the next award recipient is from Hong Kong in the visual arts. He is an icon who anyone working in the visual arts certainly knows and probably has worked with. Oscar Ho is a, an artist himself and a curator, and now in more recent years has become an educator who teaches curating and also who is training the next generation of arts administrators, which is a very important area of need in Hong Kong. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ask me which is the most powerful cultural organization in Hong Kong, with no hesitation, I would say it's ACC. If you look at the list of ACC grantees, it consists of all the top cultural workers of Hong Kong, and years after they receive the grants, they stay royal to ACC. I'm one of us. To receive this award is the greatest honor I imagine I could get. I even specially made a suit for it. <laughs> the last time when I made a suit, was when I got my first job, so you know how long it is. Thank you, Oscar Hope. With huge boxes, some pedal bikes, some steer a rose, all going somewhere. Wind drifts flowery clothes into soft kaleidoscopes. I don't have to see so closely. Heading slowly toward my heart's call, What's outside, midst over. Don't think I took a wrong turn. Don't think I'm walking circles. I no longer follow the path of others. No longer hurry to catch up. No longer in line for this group or that. Joining one camp, attacking another. My left foot, right foot, meet the pavement, tracing my own mind's map walking slow. If by chance the city glare blinds me, I glance away, keeping my own pace. Thank you. <laughs>